Hi, I'm Don Yu. You might have seen me on TV. I'm an actor, but actually I'm someone who doesn't really know how to express my emotions. I think it's especially important for me because, like I said, I don't really know how to express my emotions. Throughout my childhood days and even now, after reading, I'm better at articulating it out. I'm slightly more outspoken, so I think reading is really important. These are the three books that I brought with me today. Let's talk about the first book, which is the Mandarin book, which I highly recommend. In fact, among these three, I think this should be my favourite. This is an easy book to read because it comes in short stories, paragraphs, and then there's a lot of scenic photographs wherever he goes, he travels, and then he'll take pictures of it. So this is pretty much like a journal of his life. The title actually caught me because I always think that I'm a very simple person and I wish that I can keep the simple mind like a kid. <laughs> Uh, forever. <laughs> this question has always been running in my mind. He actually put it in such a way whereby life can be actually simple. It's the matter of how we look at it. Yeah, so this is really highly recommended. It can actually solve a lot of your riddles in life. Michelle Obama is a very inspiring figure for me. She's a very strong woman. There's so many things to look up to her because I don't really think I am that strong as compared to the stories that she shared. As much as she thinks she belongs to the minority, she will not stick to the social norms but rather work through it and to prove to the others when she's on top of everyone. And she did it. This is um, life-changing. I took it up because I thought I am stepping into the next phase in my life where I look at entrepreneurship. This book is almost like a Bill Gates must read, you know, if you want to get into money making, creativity or about entrepreneur path. I think I would call him a visionary man. So he don't seek for the short term but rather in the long term. He believes that nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow. He thinks that he needs to create it and get people involved and engaged to buy his ideas to believe that the future is going to be as that. I wish he did it. There's so much to learn from this man. And yeah, in terms of creativity and also macro perspective, yeah, he really taught me how to look at things as a whole picture and not just narrow down microscopically. Just by these three books, it actually already change a lot of my perceptions during this short period of time. So I think reading is really important and, and it helps. There are so many benefits that I don't see why you should read. <laughs> <laughs>